All right, guys, how are you? How are things going today? So two big things that happened today, at least two big things I think, was Amazon will only ship or sell right now essential items, essential goods. Things like, you know, medical, I think food related, uh, baby, um, elderly, things for pets, stuff like that. I don't think they're going to sell or ship right now or until April, like the beginning of April. Things like video games. So, for, you know, going forward, you're only going to be able to get, like, medical supplies and um, uh, just things like that. That's it. I think that it's a good move. Now, look what's happening in front of me. You have a traffic jam and this cop or this meter maid, he's not a cop, he's a meter maid, he's giving this lady a ticket or this guy a ticket because he's in the middle of the thing. He just gave a ticket. Look at that. Now, this guy's blocking. So why did he give that guy a ticket and not the other guy? Look, you they're all standing over there. All right. Anyway, we just saw that that's what they do in New York City. They grab you right in the middle of the street. So, we have Amazon. We'll only ship essential items. And the government is thinking about, because there's so many people not working, and all these industries are being shut down, like bars and theaters and things like that of giving people a thousand dollar check so maybe you may get a thousand dollar check I'm not sure if that means everyone or just people that are working or people that are paying taxes I don't know what the criteria is but that is not I don't think definite as of yet but it may be coming let's see in a couple of days I don't know if they Maybe sooner than that, they'll make a decision on people getting some sort of check for a $1,000. Um, but in New York, where I live, I live in the city. I live in New York City, Westchester. That's where we're driving now. We're driving through New York City. You have a lot of the businesses are still open. Everybody's doing their thing. But things are closing down by like 8 o'clock. That's kind of what it is. 8 o'clock at night, everything shuts down and whatever. Usually in New York City, you have things that are open 24 hours or they're open till 4 in the morning. So in New York City, restaurants, bars, clubs, 4 in the morning, some things are just constantly going. Now, 8 o'clock, everything has to be shut and they want people home by 8 o'clock. And you can't sit in a restaurant. So restaurants can only serve food by takeout or delivery. You cannot have people sitting in the restaurant, people, you know, dining. That's just the way it is. Uh, me personally, I'm eating at the house. I'd rather eat at the house now anyway. But what that does do, it will hurt the restaurant industry. You have waiters, waitresses, bartenders, busboys, cooks, food people, the whole bit. They'll be serving, of course, less food and there'll be less business. And I'm sure that people will have to, for the meantime, be laid off for less hours. And there you go. So maybe that $1,000 check for these people because then people are gonna have no money. The other thing the government wants to do, but they keep pushing back, the president wants to get roll, rid of, of like a tax, the payroll tax. Like when you get your check or you get paid and they take taxes out of it, the president, Trump, wants to basically say, you know what, just knock the taxes out for the next couple of months. Just let people keep the whole check. They'll have more money in their pocket. They can pay their bills, do whatever they got to do. Especially if these people are working less hours. You know, it's just more money going one way. And for whatever reason, the government, the senators, people in the House, people in Congress are fighting about that. They don't want to cut those taxes. They, 
They don't want they want you to stay home. <clears throat> they don't want you to work, but they want to make sure you keep paying your taxes, right? Keep paying your bills, even though you don't you might not have a way to pay your bills. Just just make sure you get that money in. And he's trying to curb that, and there's a little pushback on that. So I'm not sure exactly where that may or may not end. I feel <clears throat> again. If you watch my other videos, I'm very optimistic. <clears throat> I feel that if you are not looking into stocks and mutual funds right now, you are missing out. This is how money is made. This is how fortunes are made. The stock market is down. Trust me, this thing is going to skyrocket in a couple of months. People don't want to be locked in their house. People don't want to be quarantined and they don't like this mess. It's fun for a couple of days because you feel like you're in a TV show or that something's going on. But trust me, the weather's going to get warm. Summertime's going to come. People want to go out and this thing is just going to go away. And the stock market's going to shoot up. It's going to blast. It might not blast back up to 30000 but it's going to go up. Don't forget that. Any sort of extra money you may have. Now, here's the thing with investing. Only put money that you can afford to lose or you don't need for the next couple of years. So it might be a couple of thousand. It may be a couple of hundred. It may only be a hundred bucks that you could say, you know what? hundred dollars. I don't, you know, I, it doesn't matter. If I lose, if I lost it, it wouldn't break me. You could throw that into some sort of fund or some sort of stock. And, you know, a couple of years from now, it could be worth a lot more. That's really my basic bare bones. It gets, some things get a little bit more involved, but that's really it. The market's down 20000 May not be down 20000 again for a long, long time after this is over. So, the other thing is, I don't know. You're in the house, have a good time. In my house, I'm having a good time. Um... I'm usually working. I'm running around 24-7. I have been in my house because everything around me is kind of shutting down or slowing down. And I'm watching movies. I'm playing video games. Last night, I was playing Wii. I had this Wii. When, when did Wii come out? 2009, I think. I hooked up the Wii. I started doing like Wii bowling and Wii tennis. Uh, why not? It was there. You know, and I was watching some movies on Netflix. I think I started watching like WWF or Dick WWE. It was weird. It was actually interesting to watch because this the stadium was empty. It was an empty stadium. And you saw the ring and all the people, you know, there was no ring. It was just seats. And I thought that was interesting. It was amazing to see, you know, they were trying to do that. Uh, and they pulled it off for the most part you know it is what it is I, I mean I'm not a wrestling guy when I watched wrestling and I was into it you know it was Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior and like Macho Man so to the, a lot of these guys I don't recognize you know I know The Rock and Steve Austin but further than that it, you know I couldn't tell you anyway I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys are really you know don't get too crazy it's you know things are going to be fine um, if you are in the house, pick up some books, go on YouTube, learn something, learn about stocks. The best time is the best thing. I learned about a lot of the things that I do, not only through school, school's very good, but through just, you could go on videos, how to invest in stocks for beginners, how to invest in the stock market. I'm just saying, pick whatever, how to cook. You know, chicken cutlet, whatever you want to do. Right now is definitely a good time to learn things and and explore things that you might not had the time to do. I didn't have time to do anything before. It seems like my days are like bang, 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 bang. Now, a little bit different. I'm home because I have to be home, you know, by a certain time and you know, there's always talk they're gonna shut the city down, they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that, you know what, whatever. For me, I, I, I'm looking forward to hanging in my house. I'll get my food where I got to get my food. I haven't had any problems where I am with grocery stores. Everything seems to be there. 
some of the things are jacked up in price, you know, with money. But for the most part, uh, I, whatever I needed, I got. I have a feeling they're not going to make the grocery store shut down. They will not have a shortage of food. I would think that's a bad move on the government for lots of reasons. Uh, you'll have def you will have pandemonium. You want to see things break out? Watch if there's really no food uh, and, and things of that nature. Then you'll have trouble. Then you better have you you know something on you. Because you'll have people in the street. There'll be like a lawlessness of people just do whatever. Because people are panicking if they don't get a roll of toilet paper. If they really can't get food and they can't eat, well, that's, that's a whole new level. And I don't think they're going to get to that. At least I hope they wouldn't get to that. The government hopefully is smarter than that. I think they are. Local and federal. But stay strong. Stay good. Like, subscribe, comment. I hope you're all doing well. God bless you. Go outside for a walk. You can walk outside. I know. Keep away from people. All that good stuff. But, you know, go walk in a, in a wherever you got to walk. Can you get some fresh air. And that is it. I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>